So where does the job of a musical director start and where does it end? Is your musical director doing too much or not enough? If you're the musical director, are you doing your job correctly? Well, let's talk about it. Hey, and welcome to Music Space, where we help working musicians just like you learn how to quickly and easily make a living with your craft. So if you're new here to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. So jumping right into this, the job of a musical director isn't particularly well defined or you know some set in stone position. And what I mean by that is that it's not a position that means the same thing in every situation across the board. It may contain a certain set of responsibilities in this particular situation, and then a whole nother set of duties in another situation. And there are a lot of things that determine the obligations of a musical director, like the size of the band, the needs of the band, and things like that. But there are some responsibilities that do apply in pretty much every situation a musical director may find him or herself in. And these things are super important and I'm gonna list them out for you. But first I'm gonna tell you what a musical director is not. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna answer a question that I always get from musical directors and that is, how do I make my band members listen to me? So be sure to stick around to the end of this video for that. So first, being a musical director or an MD is not something for your ego or your self pride. I see so many MDs do this and get into this position for these reasons and it's very counterproductive. It's not a thing for you to be like, I am the king and listen to me or you know, some position to brag about to other people. You need to be actually being of service to the people that you're leading. The position is not about you. And also the MD position is not a dictatorship. The musical director position is not a my way or the highway or the my rules or you know you have to leave kind of position. It's not this absolute power that you exercise. You are not there to make decisions and take actions that fit your needs and your desires. It's not a position that gives you the ability to just do what you want to do. You have to be very inclusive and diplomatic as a musical director. Now, keeping those things in mind, the number one responsibility of a musical director is to get the best performance out of the players that he or she leads. As a musical director, you have to do what it takes to ensure that the performance that's coming up or the performance that you're doing goes over well. And this means you have to know your players and your performers well. You have to know their strengths and their weaknesses. And you have to do the things that get them to play to their strengths. And this also means that you have to have a good understanding of not only music in general, but also the specific music that you play. Because you may also find yourself in a situation where you have a sub player that you don't know, you know their strengths and weaknesses and you don't really know them at all, but as a musical director, you still have to be able to lead and guide them. And you have to be able to lead and guide them in the same way that you do with your regular band members. Now, right before we get to the next thing, if you're getting value out of this video so far, do me a quick favor and hit the subscribe button and the like button on this video. Go ahead and do that now. That lets me know that you appreciate this content and it lets me know what type of content I should be making for you in the future. And that leads me to the next thing, which is the most general job of a musical director is to lead and guide the band through the music in real time. So like if you've ever heard that guide voice track in backing tracks that people use when that backing track voice comes in and says verse, chorus, bridge, that kind of stuff. This is essentially what you have to do in real time as a musical director. And this means that you have to have good communication skills and good organization skills. And this also means that you have to know the music really well and not only just know it well, in most cases, you have to know it better than the players that you're leading. 
And not only that, you have to, in most cases, know it well enough to be able to lead them and perform at the same time. Because a lot of times as a musical director, you're a performer in the band, say the drummer, the keys player, the bass player, the singer, or whatever. You have to be able to do that at the same time as leading others through the music. Now, also as an MD, you have to be a big picture person. And what I mean here is you have to be sort of like a movie director in this sense. So in a movie shoot, the director of that movie has the big picture or the overall objective of that movie in mind. And he or she knows as the director how each scene that they're going to shoot contributes to that overall picture. So they know how to direct each scene to get to that particular goal. And just the same, you as a musical director have to know how each player's part, be it the drummer, the bass player, guitar player, singer, keys player, whatever, you have to know how their part contributes to the music as a whole, and you have to be able to direct them in such a way that contributes to that objective. And you have to know how to communicate that to them. So for example, if a song is going for a particular style or a particular mood, you need to be able to communicate to each player how to contribute to that particular style or mood. And these are the things that contribute to being a really good musical director. They're the things that you have to adopt if you want to be a leader and you want other people to follow you as a leader or as a director of the musical group that you're over. So if you're the MD or the person leading your band or the person charged with you know leadership of your band, how do you get your respective members to listen to you and follow you and respect what you do as a leader? Well, first you start by asserting yourself and your position. And I don't mean this in some sort of negative or domineering or nefarious way. What I mean is that you have to communicate to them what you are there for and what it takes to do your job and communicate to them that it takes their cooperation for you to do your job effectively. And really, you have to be honest enough and confident enough in this conversation that when you're communicating this to them, you have to be able to say that, hey, if you don't think I am the right person or if you don't think you can cooperate with my leadership, perhaps it's best to put someone else in that position. But if I am the person that's going to be in charge or you know, be in the position of the musical director, I need your cooperation. And this will solve a lot of the issues that you come up against when you know, you're trying to lead people and trying to get them to follow you. But not only that, you really need to be able to answer the question of, why should other people listen to me? Really think about that. Why should other people listen to you? Why should they look to you as a leader? Why should they follow you? And I mean that question outside of the, you know, just the respect of the position itself as a musical director, as a leader, outside of that position, why should people listen to you? Do you know the music better? Are you more proficient on your instrument or voice? And this question is really important because it will always be like really difficult to get people to follow you and for you to lead other people when they don't have that level of respect for you, when they don't you know, have a reason to look up to you in that way. If people tend to look at you as less than themselves in any way, they're probably not going to follow you or be willing to follow you or submit to your leadership. So this question really is about self-reflection and understanding, you know, the question of why people should follow you and helping you understand what it is that you bring to the table as a leader or as a MD or musical director. But the question is for you, what are some responsibilities or duties that you think should be included in the musical director's job? Do you even think that a musical director is necessary? Some bands don't even have one. Jump down in the comments and let me know your thoughts on that. I really want to hear them. And hey, did you know that there are a bunch of free resources that I've put together just for you? Everything from an ebook that gives you 10 tips on how to make more money as a musician, to contracts that you can use to book high paying gigs, to set list templates, and much, much more. 
And again, it's all free and you can find the links to download them in the description of this video. So be sure to jump down and check those out. And listen, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope that it was helpful for you and it helped you to understand the job and the responsibilities of a musical director a little bit better. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button on this video. And here are some other videos that you can check out right now.